Good morning. If you want to see how we built this corner shed roof, stay tuned because that's what we're going to do today. Well, welcome to another Memphis Money, Memphis Money 247. Today we're going to put up another shed roof. Uh, only this time it's going to be not just a straight shed roof, but it's going to have a hip roof, a, a hip joint in it where it turns the corner. Uh, it's going to be connecting our south shed roof with our east shed roof. And I think it's going to be a pretty fun project. I already kind of got started because it's a big project. I want to get it done in one episode. But let's uh, knock off the chit chat and get to work. I already got the uh, framework up. It's kind of a big project, so I wanted to get it done in one episode, so I went ahead and put the uh, framework up, and we'll talk about it as we go along. One of the things I did with this uh, framework for this hip roof is that I went ahead and fared it all the way across which means that in addition to the purlins, I put spacers on the ribs. I'm talking about fairing. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, you can see that here on the south shed roof, you can see a gap between the tin and the rafter. Uh, with steel tin, this is perfectly okay. But in our shed roof today, I went ahead and filled those gaps in. Here you can see what I'm talking about here on the between these two right on that rafter and between the purlins I've got this spacer and I've got a spacer on the hip rafter also. You can see it right right there. Now that's kind of a special uh, special spacer. Let me show you what that looks like. Now that spacer on the hip raptors has a an eight degree slant because on the roof the roof slants away to the south on one side and to the east on the other. And when you first look at this, it seems kind of complicated and you don't know how you're ever going to figure it out but it's actually pretty simple uh, let's get up on the roof and i'll show you why it's simple okay here's what it looks like uh, from the top and you can really see that fairing where the tin's going to sit nice and flat now the reason this is not uh, all that complicated is because everything is at 45 degrees Right up the center there, you see my ridge, the ridge rafter. And that's the fairing strip right there that I put in. Then the purlins come off of that at 45 degrees. That right there is called the king no, that is a jack rafter right there. Those are the, the rafters right there that come off the hip rafter, and they are at 45 degrees. This is the king uh, king rafter. What happens is you have the whole business is a square. You got. That rafter down there is a king rafter. Then over here is another king rafter. I only have one common rafter. This is a common rafter over here. And then the jack rafters come off of that. There's one there. So the ticket is that almost all the tin except one sheet it's going to have to be trimmed at 45 degrees to meet on this uh, jack rafter. I guess we can uh, go ahead and uh, start putting some tin on.
All you roofing guys out there aren't allowed to watch this next part. Because what I like to do is pre-drill. I don't always do it this way, but I like to pre-drill my holes for my screws. Now this is how it's supposed to be done. You just take your screw and they're self-tapping. They got real sharp points on them. Either that or they got a built-in drill, drill bit. And they just go in like that without pre-drilling. This is, this is the slowest way of all, but take a pair of pliers and don't try to hold them with your hand. Get a pair of pliers, put them in place, give them a hit, and then drill them in. Okay, this is the first uh, first piece we're going to have to trim, and then actually all the rest of them have to be trimmed also. We're going to mark it and then take it uh, take it down. trim it in the shop. So now you can see how that um, ridge rafter works. Just fill it in, run that uh, tin right to the center of that bearing strip, and then I'll be doing the uh, other side next. Let's go down down below and take a look at it. As I said before, uh, I didn't put fairing strips in the uh, other shed roofs, but here's the fairing strips. You see how the tin butts right up against the uh, fairing strips, so there's no gap, and it's supported all along that uh, piece there. So then I come down here to the fairing strip on the on the ridge rafter. Uh, the beauty of this is not only do I get support in this area here, but it also hides the cut we made that 45 degree angle right there. And here's how the uh, hip roof will join to the other to the east shed roof the run on the east shed roof is the same as the run <coughs> on the south but the rise is a little higher so those um, edges don't exactly match but 
it's going to be a little gap right there, but it shouldn't be a problem. And if you're wonder, wondering how we're going to uh, close up that that gap uh, there on the ridge, they sell these uh, ridge caps. So we'll put a cup. We'll put a row of these down the uh, down that ridge to seal it off. I got the. Uh, east side of the uh, roof tin put on so now we have all the roof tin on now we have three jobs left to do and then we'll be done each one of the rafters have two rafter ties connected and we have uh, seven more of them to install we also have to install a drip edge along that uh, edge right there. And then the third job we need to do is we need to install the ridge cap that goes along this, uh, this hip, uh, hip rafter. Not a whole lot to this job, it's just uh, tedious. I, uh, I got a bad, I got a bad left hand. I can't afford to uh, hit my fingers with a nail, uh, putting these nails in, so I use a I use a uh, pair of pliers. What I'm doing here is um, putting the putting the drip edge in, and I'm having to drill this because I have to go through two layers of. Two layers of roofing plus the drip edge. So um, I'll go ahead and knock out this uh, drip edge. I don't think I got the right uh, ridge cap, but we're going to make it work for the time being. Well, I got all the rafter ties in. Every uh, rafter has two rafter ties. We've got our edging in. Our drip edge. We've got our ridge cap on there. We didn't get the right one. We're going to have to replace it. Well, that does it for uh, Memphis Muddy. 247 week 39 of year five built this uh, nice little corner shed roof with a hip roof in it it's got two by six beams holding it up down here at the corner we never talked about this we've got uh, double Two by six here and a two by six here. I mean, not two by six, four by six. Four by six here, four by six here, and they're bolted together. Overall, pretty satisfied. We have to change out that uh, Well, that does it for an, another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 247, week 39 of year five. Uh, today we built that corner shed roof with uh, the hip joint down the middle. Uh, now the south shed roof and the east shed roof are 
connected together. Overall, I'm pretty, uh, pretty satisfied with it. That uh, top piece there, that last thing we put on, we're going to have to replace that because it's not right. Um, but hey, if that's our only mistake, uh, we're good to go. So like and share and favorite and all the stuff you do on the internet. Most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.